Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Rich here. We're back with a new video. Right, it's been it's been quite a while. I'm so sorry guys. I have had a tough week. I've had a lot of bad luck, lots of bad things happening, but it is okay now. I'm feeling a bit better and I'm ready to do more videos for you guys. So, I have a base that I have been working on. Very simple. I actually got this inspiration from one of my uh, patrons and subscribers. Um, her name is uh, Flygirl. Now, I haven't actually done her base yet in my subscriber build series yet uh, to show it off, but I will be doing that. You'll see uh, that very soon, and I'll show you where I got the idea from. Although, she didn't really have this as a base. I just saw that she had something similar, so I decided, you know, let's give this, give this a go and see what happens. And I don't know if this is done before, but I, I wanted to give it a go and see what happens. So, uh, this is how it works. The zombies will, um, wherever they come from, they'll come around to this side, and they'll climb up here. And they'll run through all these bobbed wire all the way to get to me over there. And it takes them forever to get through all this. And some of them do actually fall down and push each other and they fall into these blade traps. Um, although I think what I will do, I'm going to run two horde knights. The first one will be with the blade traps. The second one will be with the spikes to see if both of them work. Because I, I like to make bases that are easy to build. Um, someone that uh, you first start, you can build this thing pretty simple pretty quickly. And I have these electric fences, I'm going to fly up, these electric fences on the top, just to slow them down some more. This one's going to slow them down a, quite a long time, I hope they last. And hopefully that should last the whole night, at least I'm hoping so. If it doesn't, well then, uh, yeah, I'm going to run and scream. I guess we'll go into the house over there <laughs> and see what happens. But yeah, that's my idea, I hope you guys can sort of see it. And what I was thinking, if it doesn't last the whole night, I could build pretty much the same thing next to this one so if they do get through this one all I got to do is jump across to the next one and then they'll have to go through all that as well I mean that's that's an idea but I think we'll just jump into Horde Knight and give it a go uh, again I haven't really tested this um, I've tested with a few zombies and it worked quite well I haven't tested with Horde Knight so we'll see if it fails I'll show you guys if it if it succeeds well then great it's successful Horde Knight base all right I'll check you guys in a bit That moment you realize you built in the wasteland. <laughs> Not that it really matters. I don't know why I decided to build over here. That was pretty strange. And you realize now, like, what, what am I doing here? I guess just the only flattest area that I could find in Navscan. Right, here we go. Horde Knight is almost here. The only thing about this base is it requires a lot of ammo. So I guess it doesn't really classify as a starting out base. But we'll see. I guess you could use it with uh, bows and arrows as well. Please don't come on this side and make me look like an idiot. Come on, Mr. Zombies, where did that one go? Where did he go? I don't see him. Okay, we're good. And here yeah, they come. That's why this will be better off if you've got, uh, you know, starting out. Because you won't get all these radiated zombies. i got a lot of radiated zombies because of my game stage. So these might be quite tough to take out. Some of them getting chopped down there. Some of them are running past, which is fine. Not a big, big problem. The only thing I got worried about is the vultures. And the spitting cops, well, they are coming quite fast, aren't they? Come on. Die off. We don't want you anywhere near me. i got some Molotovs as well I can use. I'm not going to throw that far. Let me try. Let's see if I can do it. Fly! Right over the heads. Damn it. Never good at that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I do have some Bexy water, so if I do burn myself, let's try this gun out. I'm going to need it. I'm actually hitting him. I don't even know. I think so. Yeah. I think this is a much better gun for this type of scenario. But yeah, I think the, the the spikes would work as well. I mean, they're not really falling down there as much as I thought they would be. Okay, that's very bad. I think he may have taken out one of my... Yeah, he did too. He, he took out my electric fences. That bastard. He took, he took the whole out. <laughs> there goes his head. <laughs> I'll have to fix that. Move the electric fence more further back, maybe. That is not good. Now they can catch up pretty quickly. But it's fine. I have faith in my machine gun. RJ's machine gun. She likes this thing so much. Should be able to hold them back, I hope. Okay. Reloading. You can see they are not coming uh, or knocking down here at all. They're all trying to go this way. This is not good. Which is a really good thing because you could actually improve on this. You could probably make it longer 
But the whole idea of the video is to see if it actually worked, and then try and prove on it. Which I, which I can, not a problem. I think if you made it longer though, they might knock on the, the, the bottom piece. Why can't I hit that? Come on, I can't even see that. Oh my gosh. Damaging everything, you damn zombies. Well, there goes his head. <laughs> oh, I love, I love that the cop zombies' heads, they bounce like that. I don't know why they, they've made it like that, but it's quite funny. I like how that one's still standing. But yeah, you can see, guys, you need a lot of ammo for a tough base like this. They get through that pretty quickly. No zombies down here, no zombies... Nope, we're all good, we're all fine. But there are a lot more coming. Fall down! Fall down! <laughs> Fall down! No, no, no! Don't get back up! Okay, there you go. Problem solved. So my aiming is going to be worse than ever just because that I've actually hurt myself, guys. I hurt myself. I was moving some stuff around. I hurt my arm and my hand. Oh my gosh, I'm focusing too much on that. So my, my hand is actually really sore at the moment, but it, it's getting better. I'm fine. Let's not worry about the vultures. Let's worry about these guys. They, they're coming too close. Well, it seems to be okay. Oh, oh, oh. Nope. It seems to be holding out pretty pretty decently, actually. If I didn't have the gun, then I probably would have been dead by now. But I got this thing, and they come near me. That's only if I'm brave. I'm not too interested in trying that out. Oh my gosh, Demasha. I need to try and make him blow up. But if I do that, he might actually destroy some blocks. Which is not a good thing. That zombie is breaking things. Demasha's fallen down. I didn't really want to shoot the marsha. Did he die? Where did he go? What if that's him? Because this is open, yeah. They can run out of all these spikes. They're coming really close. Oh my gosh. He's really, really close. Let's just chuck one of these for, for good luck. <laughs> oh. Okay, he's down. He's down. Okay. It's, it's coming to an end, guys. They're coming real close. <laughs> I think I heard another vulture. No? Oh, must have been a zombie. Yeah, you fall down there, get chopped up, mince meat. This gun feels more inaccurate than, than ever. Here comes another demolisher. That demolisher's gonna get through, yeah. I need to load this gun. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is too close. <laughs> no! Go away! Oh my gosh, don't just die, just die, just die, just die, just die. Oh, that is not what I wanted to happen. Oh, he's super close. You know what? Stop off. Go away. Shoot zombie. Yeah, that's the... You know, you know what that means, guys. I think that means it's time to run away. No, I think... I think we'll be okay. We'll be fine. Don't worry. Did a lot of damage. You know what? I, I might have an idea. If they do come this side. Always jump across there, then jump back, jump across. <laughs> Confuse. But then those ones over there will get me. Let's try and pull their heads, yeah. I think the only downside to this is that the reloading of this gun is going to kill me. As soon as I have to reload this thing. That's, that's, that's when they're going to get me. Oh, here we go. Come on, quick. Hurry up, hurry up. Okay, fine. Oh no, it's broken. <laughs> I guess that's another downside. Okay, it's time to run away. Time to run away. We'll be fine. You know what we can actually do? We can drop down and jump back up. Oi, don't do that. Why are you doing that? Let's go back up. Let them find their way up here again. Yeah, I fooled ya. Guess that's one way of doing it. I need to try and fix that quickly. Come on, come on, how long is it going to take? Two, come on, come on, it's too slow. There you go. Bye bye. No, no. But let's be honest, guys. If I didn't have this machine gun, the M60, 
well, then I don't think I would have made it through the night. Or well, this base wouldn't have done as well as it did. But again, I, I was just trying to test it out to see if it was going to work out. Now we can improve on this. Oh my gosh. Go away. Another vulture or something spitting at me over here. Well, one of the cops, maybe. No dying today, everybody. The first chance I get to reload will be any minute now. Any minute now. Okay, right now. I think that might be okay. We might be okay. There you go. That's fine. Wow, these uh, M60 machine guns, they really do a lot of damage to the actual machine gun itself. I repair this thing all the time. Okay, my gun is now broken, and i got to be quick with this now. Reload this gun. Oh my gosh, this is going to make me run now. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. I don't want to run. These damn radiators. They are very strong. Okay, we're running. We're running. <laughs> Can't call Arjo for help. She's not here. Okay, let's try this. It's almost, almost time. I don't want to die. And we made it. Well, not yet. You'll kill the zombies first. Okay, okay, we're back, and yeah, well, now we can sort of see what they did. I see they've dug uh, like a hole over there, which actually helped them path their way back up here, yeah? which I might just leave it. I don't know if they fall down there again. They can just use it to get back to this ramp quicker. I don't know if that's uh, that's what they were trying to do. Let me turn the stuff off so I can take a look around. But what I want to do now is I want to go and I want to improve the place quickly. It shouldn't take too long, just something very simple, nothing too crazy. And I want to try run a Horde Knight again, just a lot, a lot quicker to see how well I can get this thing working. So I'll be right back. I want to see what I can do with this place. Okay, we are now back and I have kind of improved it. I hope this is going to make a difference. I, it doesn't look like it, but uh, it might. We'll see. So uh, what I've done is I've added more uh, more electric fences as well as I have distanced them away from the wall so when the cop zombies do blow up they don't damage the electric fences at all. Uh, I made sure I blew one up here and they can't get those at all. They're too far out. I think it's about five out from there to there. Uh, it's more than enough. And I fixed up what I can, added the, the barbed wire back and that is basically all I've done. Whoopsie. Yeah, that is, and I've added an uh, um, electric fence on this side uh, by the ramp here as well. And, and I've made the ramp a little bit bigger, so they got more to work with. If in case they did break one of the blocks, I did see they were breaking in one of the, the ramps, and I didn't want that to happen during Horde Night. And I've kind of just removed the cage at the end. I didn't really need it. There were no vultures that night. So, yeah, we're going to try this again, guys. And this time, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to throw these Molotovs at them, because while they're getting electrocuted, uh, the Molotovs can burn them. And, and it just looks nice as well, so <laughs> we're gonna jump on to Hold Night and see how this goes. Bear back, guys. Whoa, okay. Well, you know, just welcome to the party. You rock up early, it's fine. Well, at least that tests my theory. Thank you very much. <laughs> that was so random, guys. I was busy waiting for Hold Night. Anyway, I guess it's Hold Night anyway, so yeah, there you go. Hello, doggies. Bye bye, doggies. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Anyway, Horde Knight is here. Let's see how this goes. This waltzing zombie are there. Come on, zombies, don't disappoint. I'm waiting for yours. Come on. Let's take a few out. Please don't come here and knock on the bottom. I actually had that problem, guys. I actually tried to extend this. I made it go further out, and they were actually knocking at the bottom. That wasn't working out too well. Let's burn them. That was way too far over. I don't know why I do that. But at least that's working. That's actually working really well, actually. Nice. Perfect. And I can shoot them. Why does it feel like my, my gun is going straight through them? It's weird. Wow, okay. Wait, is that... No, okay. I was about to say, is that all? It <laughs> doesn't feel like a lot of zombies. That one is working really well. I'm really happy with that one. The nicest thing about this base is what I try to do is to try to make it so you can shoot at all angles. So wherever you stand, uh, standing, wherever the zombies are coming from, you can shoot them. 
and you probably noticed as well, I have replaced the blade traps with the spikes. Just, just I just thought that um, the blade traps weren't doing much unnecessary. The spikes is going to do just as good. I know a lot of people moan at me when I use the wooden ones, so I use the metal ones. You happy? You happy? <laughs> this is working really well. I'm really happy with this. The electric fences can be put to good use. I don't use much traps in my videos. Still early on to the night though. We'll see if anything changes. If those demolishers come, I think... Um, I'll try shoot the legs, yeah. I know, I, I know how that goes. Shoot the legs and they end up blowing up. Always ch shoot their chest by mistake. They haven't even got to that corner yet. I'm wondering how long the, the electric fence can actually hold out for. Oh, this guy's a problem. You're very inaccurate, buddy. Missed so many times. And even the bob wire is holding up quite longer than the first time. But the first time a cup zombie came up and blew up and took out all the electric fences and a bunch of the barbed wire. Off you go, off you go, there you go. <laughs> I've also added a little entrance there so they can go through there. I'm trying to make the zombies walk freely. I don't want them to feel trapped or anything like that. So I don't want them hitting on things. Let's see if I can pop one of those over there. That's going to be way too over, I think. There you go, that's, that's pretty good. Okay, continue shooting at them. You could also use a junk turret, yeah? You could probably set it up somewhere in front of me, somewhere, and then I could shoot them. It may shoot that distance, I'm not sure. Or just set up over here, and if they come close, you got that as a backup. Come on, zombies, is that all you got? Where's the demolisher buddies? I'm rocked up to the party yet, I see. Oh, I hear a vulture. I'm almost certain I heard a vulture somewhere. No, I'm hearing things again. I don't know why I keep hearing vultures. <laughs> it's pretty weird. They always seem to show up in the worst moments. Must have gone behind the building or something. I'm hearing things. Okay, they're making their way on the other side now. They're still battling to make that corner though, which is a good thing. Come on, come on, off you go, off you go. Be nice if there was some trap that can push zombies, that'd be so cool. Just push them all off. That biker zombie is quite, quite a tough guy to kill. I'm quite surprised there's no demolishers yet. What's up with that? First, the first night there were, I think there were like four of them or something. So yeah, they still haven't really made that corner. I think those electric fences are holding them back like way too much. I think I can overdo it and add more. And this place will be even 10 times better. I see there's some zombies down there. I think they, they fell down. What they're doing over there. They're about my, my generator. That one's still knocking. And Oh, okay, I see. They've only, they've only just made themselves a, a pathway through. I guess that's, a, that's okay. They're coming fairly close now. Come on, zombies. It is almost over and you've lost. Oh, one just blew up there. What's up with that? Did he break anything? I think he may have broken it. Yeah, he broke, he broke one of the electric fences down there. They're the only ones I didn't uh, make five away from the sides. And it is daytime! Well, there you have it, guys. My base actually worked that I, that I made here, yeah, which is... I'm pretty happy with this. This is pretty cool. I want to give this a go on survival, maybe the Wasteland Hunters, we try that on there as well. You know, we can build it. See how that goes. Right, I'm going to go around now and take all the damages. Come on, die off, fall off, get wrecked. Okay, so, 
Well, uh, I'm really happy with this. They didn't do too much damage, and, you know, next day it comes. You could probably fix this all up and uh, run it again. Now, the, the night time was sped up just a little bit, but I am almost certain they could have lasted another hour or two, going up to about here. Because if you rem remember the first time we did it, it got up to here, and we were holding off pretty damn well right here. So, I'm really happy with this. What do you guys think of this base? Do you think this is, this is lame? This is silly? I don't know. I, I quite like it. It's simple. So... Let me know what you guys think in the, in, in the comments below. If you guys have any future suggestions to any videos, let me know in the comments. And I'll check you in the next one. Bye-bye.